Hello everybody, my name is Monis and this is Ekrum on the Underhive Wars and I am a little bit squeamish about this game, I'm not gonna lie. I've been played it until about 4 days ago, today is the 18th and uh, it came out the 8th and the game is a complete and utter fucking shit show. And allow me to show you some things which were the reason why I stopped playing. Uh, this was this gang was a recreation of my uh, tabletop gang, which I really liked. I was kind of disappointed that you could only have five gangers on the field at any one time, but still, this was my original leader. And th these four were uh, oh, these three, or crash, these two were. Uh, Characters that were there at the start of the creation of the gang. I'm talking table, tabletop wise. So this one was one that I added later, but it was also really fun. It was also one of the original guys. And this one, uh, although he, he, he was in my original gang, he was by another name, and she's supposed to represent a uh, red skin uh, mercenary that I had in, in my gang. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's all nice and well, but. Uh, let me get to the point about why I stopped playing. This game has an infamy system. Maybe if you're familiar with Necromunda, that basically means that uh, at the start of the game, uh, certain actions un unlock things which allow you to get uh, certain upgrades later on. So starting out you don't have those, and gangs that you make later on have these things that can be like bonuses for buying things in the shop and stuff like that, there are discounts on skills, etc, etc. However, as you can see over here, I have a minus 23. There's a bug in the game that is tied to uh, the story missions. If you make a gang, and then later on uh, start or continue with the, the campaign, it resets these points and for some reason they stay locked. So, when I when I was with my gamma, what's the rating? 4,279. Yeah, I don't know how high or low that is. But basically, then I just started to. Oh, right, there was actually a story campaign to the game. So uh, I went up and completed the campaign. Which you can actually see in several ways. Because when you can. Once you unlock the campaign, you also unlock things like. Uh, what's it called? Uh, cosmetic uh, things that uh, you can only unlock by f finishing the story first which I might I want to add, I do, do really like because that's an incentive to, 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 to uh, play the story and I must say that I really like the story and one of these things that you unlock are these gas masks now if you don't have uh, completed the story, th this is great that you can't actually uh, access uh, the mask and you're basically stuck with uh, people without any uh, well, there are, there are no helmets in the game either or anything of that. So, so you basically uh, have all your guys running around with uh, just their faces, and that's not fine, but that's not a bad thing. But I wanted those, uh, you know, cosmetic things uh, to, to give my guys a little bit more spice, and yeah. Basically, that was a bloody waste of time, and now there are a lot of more problems with the game. I will try to showcase, but uh, yeah, let's just say that this was the biggest uh, kick in the groin. And, and yeah, I've already seen this thing like five times. It's popping up. Now I'll just try a mission, a single mission, and I'll see what kind of uh, things uh, the, in regards to bugs the game throws at me now. <laughs> <laughs> and here we already have a very nice yeah. sound. Ten cents doesn't stack. And these great out uh, uh, trying to point at them with the mouse, but that's not possible. 
but when they're grayed out, when they haven't had the turn they they're not on the field, so you also can't buff them either. Now, that's not to say that the AI, you know, takes that to consideration, because it doesn't. And that's kind of the problem. One of the problems. The AI is fucking boring. That's also something that I want to uh, highlight why it's fucking retarded in its current implementation. Just wait until this AI has finished its turn. Which is, as you probably have already noticed, it takes bloody forever. Okay, so she's on ambush and we do not want to get too close to her because then she will attack us. This ganger moved from here to here, but it did that by moving this way, this way, this way. What, 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 what the game basically only does is it only measures horizontally. So because she had enough movements to get past here, basically when she started moving here, it actually reduced the amount of movement points it cost her to make this move, which is a back-ass retarded way of doing this system. So let's recap that last fight that we just saw. She got ambushed, okay, she happens. She disengages, which costs AP and I think also movement points. Does an ability, which you can also do while, or at least to my knowledge, that you can do while you're engaged. And then strikes again, which causes her to be engaged again. I here actually remember to throw the Draconate at, you know, enemies instead of itself. Well, it couldn't be seen. Same couldn't be said about the Spore Bomb, but I've sometimes seen the AI do ah! like It throws three grenades in the turn and all three of them land at their own feet. It's like, that kind of stuff is the reason why I stopped playing this game.
Jump down and escape the loot. It just okay. You knocked out the other ganger. But... Yeah. Thank you. 
See, this is another one of those things that I said was the reason why I really dislike this game. This guy, who is purely close combat, is standing out completely in the open. Yeah, um, you know, I really don't like games just handing me the victory. It feels like fucking patronizing to me. So, yeah. So he's standing right there, he has no way of getting to us, and I have two ranged gangers who have, uh, were built around crits. Yeah. So normally also get around run around and loot shit and I didn't get that either it's what really is so bloody inconsistent it's really really hard to know what's gonna happen it's, it's aggravating it's just fucking aggravating oh hey look suddenly it sees that I've killed over uh, now this is something else, this is kills. So, so suddenly it starts seeing, oh wait a minute, things have actually been going down. Now, all my whining aside, let's take a look at what kind of stuff we got. I think it's mostly just uh, the stuff that we nicked off people, so that's fine. I think I know where MVP is going to be, that's our heavy. Normally it's him, <laughs> but he, he was running around, ran out with the... Uh, it's called the uh, RK check. Seven people uh, put out of action. No shit. Yep. Uh, also, because I didn't get that loot round, he had an item on him that he has to consume. Well, that gives him a penalty, but I wanted to do that in the loot round, considering it also gives you a pretty nasty debuff. But that would give him 200 experience, and, and I'm not getting that because I didn't get a loot round. Whoopty, fucking dip. Okay, this is also a bug. Because no no, she actually went went down here, but she didn't get an injury. But some most times after every single mission, it will show recovered fighters being in quotes. Well, no one actually went down. It's this game is so so bloody broken. It's it, it's it's mind-boggling. How how the hell did I think that releasing it in this state was a good idea? Now, I will say there are some good things uh, about the game. It is bloody gorgeous. The setting is spot on for Necromunda, and I really love the, the way in which you can tweak your gangers. You can have some very nasty uh, uh, builds, which I really bloody like. And so, I probably will show, allows you to, to take out people uh, in a single turn, sometimes multiple, like with my heavy. It's, it adds a lot of fun. Uh, this group, which is based on my beating, uh, actually has a. It's called a uh, Saboteur, I think. Which have. Uh, he's a basically a sports class, but I also like that, that, that you also have things like, like that in the game. And some things like, uh, for example, your house bonus. They give you certain bonuses that, especially when, when you consider, like. Uh, House, house variants of skills that, that they really um, favor one uh, playstyle over another, and which is fine because that's the way it was in the tabletop as well. So I really like that. But yeah, this game man, so many, so many bugs. But the most glaring of it all is that the bloody AI, which is so fundamentally broken that it's currently just not it's just not a functioning product and that mission almost took me two hours to capture holy shit because the AI is constantly is standing still picking its nose deciding what to do sometimes it stands still for like five seconds deciding whatever it wants to kneel down or not which it always does if it has DP for so I don't know why it's taking so long to decide to, on that action alone but yeah, holy crap. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
little bit different video than what I normally do, but I hope that it shows some of the insane issues that this game has, and I, I'm really open for this game. There is so much potential, I find it such a bloody shame. But yeah, here's the hoping that it, it's a uh, to use to the developers. <laughs> 